Hey, it's John from Keyboard Magazine. In this video, I'm going to explore some of the MIDI effects in Logic Pro 10 that I didn't say much about in the print review. I'm also going to show you a couple of quick tips to help you manage your screen real estate. Since with the updated interface and the new instruments, Logic can start to feel crowded pretty quickly when you get working. So I have a basic pad sound here. And I've shortened the release time to make it more usable with the arpeggiator, which I'll get to in a moment. But first, I'm going to show you the chord trigger. Here we see the nine different MIDI effects that are available. There's my chord trigger. Now, this plugin lets me trigger different types of chords just by playing single notes like this. So when I play a middle C, for example, I get that resulting minor 7th chord by default. Now I can choose different types of chords as presets. I'll choose the sus 4, 7, 9. And with the learn function, I can program my own chord voicings like this. Now let's add an arpeggiator. You'll notice that there isn't another empty slot here to add a MIDI effect. However, if I hover the mouse just below the currently loaded effect, you'll see that green line appear. If I click and hold, I can choose any of the other MIDI effects. By default, this simple pattern gets loaded. Again, there are a bunch of great presets to get you going. And you'll notice that the arpeggiator can do both single note patterns and chord patterns, so it's pretty flexible. Now, I just have one instrument loaded here with only a couple of MIDI effects, and already my screen is getting crowded. And I can deal with this in a couple of ways. I can use the V key to simply hide all of the plugins, bring them back. That option has been in Logic for years. But the new plugin interfaces also offer a couple of ways to better manage your screen real estate. I can reduce the size of each interface by a certain percent. And I can also tighten up the header by clicking this right button. So these are MIDI effects in Logic and a couple of tips to improve your workflow. Happy music making and thanks for watching.